Hello everyone, it's Ulti Man. Okay, so I'm just going to be showing off how to complete Pablo's mission in the Evil Dead game, because this mission is a huge pain in the ass, to be honest. So, there's a few issues later on, but it's basically like partly a driving mission, and partly a stealth mission. The issue is that if you touch anything, your car instantly explodes, and there's just random guys that jump out and can destroy your car at any second, so it's a little random in that aspect, but... If you know what to do, and your car doesn't get blown up, it's not too bad, so... We'll kind of go for it together, I'll explain as I go, but... All of the items are only on the crit path, there's no point going off the path here. There's guys all over the map, but there's no items, so... Don't go exploring too much. I just want the shimps and the amulet out back here, and then I would just grab all the handgun and the pistol. And an ammo and pistol. All the guys at the start will die in one hit anyway, so the pistol works fine. We do switch our gun out eventually, but we get a bunch of ammo there, so you don't need to pick up anything else. So I got our first group of enemies here. There's a bunch of them, but they do very little damage. And if you're close, the body shot will kill them anyway, so kill them all with your pistol. It's not too bad. One of them should drop a machete. Just hard to see sometimes. What did that miss? Oh, whatever. I just need too much ammo. Just punch him to death. Ah, there it is. Not sure if it's always the last enemy. What is that makes it easy? Bit more handgun ammo there. Alright, perfect. We got what we need for now. So, for now we're just kind of driving from objective to objective, but I will park on the main road and then kind of run, just in case. It's very easy to get duck on something and blowing up if you try going down the small roads. I think we can run this guy over right now. that's fine. Never had problems with that one, but I have had a guy just walk in front of my car, he didn't even attack it, and it just blew up. So I don't know, be very careful with the car. We want it for like 75% of the mission. Otherwise, it's a huge pain in the ass. You can run, but it takes a very long time, and there's a lot of guys in the forest, though. You just have to fight a ton of extra enemies. And the guys in the woods are tougher than the ones on the like, crypt path or something. I have to fight five guys here, but they're pretty easy. Also, one drops a champ. The only issue is sometimes the fifth guy takes, like, forever to spawn. Or you get stuck on something, I don't know. Pretty easy though. I do want to save some pistol ammo here because there's a mini boss we have to fight at dead end before we pick up all our other stuff. Not actually too many guys we have to fight in this mission. We can still pass most of them. Oh, where did I get the, all this damage from? So where did that shimps go? One of them drops a meat cleaver, the other drops those shimps. Where did it go? Mm. Fuck it. Well, one of them does drop the ships, but I'm too lazy to find it. Should have grabbed it earlier. That's fine, I got one left. So about my ammo. Well, it's just handgun ammo here. There's very few items in most of the buildings. They're very stingy in most of the missions. Are they stingy for like 99% of this mission? Then you get to dead end it. Just like your treasure chest. Oh, 
Oh, this is our first stealth spot. There's a few guys all around. And there's one guy in the basement, but you can just walk past them. The amulet's quite good. So, like, there's invisible to deadites, but don't get too close to them. If one of them stenses us, they'll all attack you. So, that's what we don't want. These guys aren't the end of the world, though. Oh, and there's a blue machete hit him right in the corner here. So, that's the only thing we want here. You do have to approach this building to get the next objective, though. Now, these are the fuckers that always blow up my car. We have to very, very carefully turn our car around here, but... I always get guys jump up and fucking smack it when I'm trying to turn around. But I'm gonna wait one second to see if anyone else comes out. It seems clear, but I mean, it always seems clear. These guys don't make any noise. There we go. From here, it's not too bad. I just want to stick on the main roads. So don't spend too long getting in or out of your car, and don't stand around it just in case guests blow up on it. Uh, which building is this again? Not the one I thought it was. Where is it? I don't know. So basically we're just looking for the handle, but I guess it ran off or it wasn't here, I don't know. Yeah, not very clear. It's fine. I'll wait the car. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking melons jump scared me. <laughs> I don't know where that guy went. Like. Jumped out and just forgot about me. That's fine. Now I do have to fight a few guys here because there's a late literally just standing in the building we need to go. So I like to run up to the back of it and then go out because there will be two guys that run up behind us and then they will come out. We don't want to fight them. In. Hello. Oh, he got me. It's okay. He's not too tough. It's mostly the guys at the gas station you really want to avoid. They have like a billion health for some reason. Oh, I got his arm off. Oh, it's hard to tell if he's doing the light wing is floating. So there's, I think, every single type of basic gun in this building, but we just want the boomstick, which I think is over here. Yeah, I just want this for the final boss. He's very easy. He, like, attacks once, then just sits there for a long time, so. The boomstick is perfect, because with just enough time to hit him twice. I'm going to hold off on that for one second. Amulet. Jumps, and I think there's one more amulet. Apple can carry four of everything here, because he's support but doesn't have any skills unlocked or anything. Oh, that's all we need. You can also pop an amulet, because there's one more when we get to Ash. You can see a lot of the distances are pretty far, that's why you want to keep the car with you. Instead of you running straight across the what you get a lot of extra enemies. Now this is the part where you can really get screwed over. And if you don't know the enemies have a million health, it's like, really stupid. So this is the part you really want to stealth past. 
It's also kind of weird because I think this is the only patrolling enemy in the entire game. Never seen any others that just walk back and forth. So there's one basic enemy in that door. Go far around here because there's an elite right there who you really don't want to piss off. That guy has so much health. And this is where we want to go. As that guy walks back and forth, but I think we have enough time. You don't have to save me. Yeah, let's knock past him. So basically just wait till he turns his back, then go through the back. You never actually have to deal with the guys at the gas station. Yeah, for all of them, it's very bad. Uh, I think if you piss this guy off, you can yeah, kind of draw him away and kill him with melee. And you might not uh, aggro all the others, but he still has lots of health, so don't do it. Now we're just off to get some gas kit. No. Once we get there, I'm not sure if it's better to leave the car or take it. Gas cans are in kind of an awkward spot, but it's what the car gets destroyed after this. It's not the end of the world. There's a ton of guys where we're going, but we can't sneak past all of them. They're not very hard to kill, but there's just so many. So I would either kind of drag them out to the outside and kill them one out the outside, or pull them outside, or make road. You don't want to get swarmed in here. Oh wait, there's another patrol one over there. Where? I guess there's more than one. Last time I just kind of ran through here and he didn't even notice me. I guess I didn't notice him either. Oh, it's fine. There's also a shimps right next to it. Now this part looks a little sketchy, but you can actually just walk through here. And go around this way. And we made it. What? Did I not grab the gas can? What the fuck? It was right on, right? Whatever. Snake past this way again. I guess it works, so. I. What? I held triangle. Maybe I was trying to pick up the shims instead. Sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention. But that's fine. Yeah, look at that. We got through there nice and easy. So it's just the uh, one patrolling guy, I guess you need to watch out for. I guess since we already snuck straight through, we'll just run from here. There's a little bit of a jog to the next few ones, but it's a little awkward getting back to the car than driving around to all the other objectives, so that's fine. Also, we're fully supplied, so I'm not too worried about running into guys. I have to grab two more gas cans. The boss will drop when we grab the third one. Might as well use the shots. Also, I don't think fear actually matters in this mission. And if you go quick and stay in the car, it won't really build up anyway, so. I've been at high fear before and still snuck past guys, but I don't think it matters for Pablo. It might in the other missions, but not when you have an amulet. I think that's all we need here. We don't really need ammo. Oh, I heard. I have no stamina to dodge them. Guys always just appear behind you. So the boss is gonna spawn when we grab this. Very easy though. 
He does like one attack, then just sits there, and we can get two headshots. The only thing is, sometimes he doesn't appear like near you. So. The amount of time it takes can be pretty random. Where are you? He's over here. Oh, I got hit. That's fine. Oh well. Oh, what the fuck? He's never done the grab before. Fine. You can just kind of face tank him though. Where did, where did you go? Uh, he keeps behind, getting behind me and then hitting me. You fucker. <laughs> Normally if I know she's dodging him, but he just kept appearing behind me there. Well, once he was right in front, but he like appeared right in front of me. Crap, that's bullshit. Whatever, he's pretty easy anyways. You can really just face tank him and then shoot him in, so... <laughs> it's not an issue. That's why you bring the boomstick, it does a lot of damage to him and he just stands, he sits there. Okay, now I just go find Ash. He's just waiting outside on the car. You don't actually have to deal with the guys at the gas station at all. I guess you're not supposed to because this mission doesn't really give you much before you get there. Alright, now comes the easy part. I got the good car. The trusty Oldsmobile. I think it's like, actually indestructible. Normally, after hitting a certain amount of enemies, even normal cars explode, but this one, it's a little different. We're gonna be hitting a lot of enemies. But the mission is basically over. This is just kinda your reward for dealing with the crappy car for most of the mission. Here we go. Oh. Yay, freedom. I did it. Oh, is it gonna end? Oh, there we go. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. It's just a little random of keeping the car alive, like I said, so you want to watch out for that, but as long as you make it to the end, it's not that bad. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and it helped. I'll be back with some more content soon. Thanks for watching.